Thanks to our friends at Soccer Unlimited. Once a week, we focus just all in on football. Um, as you know, I am, I'm not a big soccer guy, but it's primarily because the only thing you do in that game is run. Like, there's that, no stopping at a that's base. That's true, but there's when no... you're watching, you're also drinking beer. Yeah, but I can, that's me for everything. Like, like every sport that I love, at some point in my life, I've played at some, some level, some variety. Soccer, I've never played. I've never gotten into it. I can tell. Ouch. Double burn. Just burn after burn, off air, on air. We got to get a drop that just says Woods Burn. He's all Woods fired up because he got a special deal on that uh, the jersey he's wearing. He did. Because it's the size of the kid who knitted it. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> they charged him less. Another burn. <laughs> Notice uh, he didn't get that at Soccer Unlimited where they only have good material. Ugh. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm ready for your pitch perfect. All right. So we, we had U.S. men's national team played uh, – Earlier this week, on Wednesday night. Why do you sound against, so sad? It didn't go well. <laughs> we won three two against Mark. Okay, Nick. okay, that's exciting. That's good stuff. It's not exciting because Why? they played god awful. But they won Think of it this way. Martinique, we're 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 a team full of professionals. Guys that play in England, guys that play here in the, in the MLS. Martinique is a semi pro team. They don't have any got anybody on their team that's actually a professional soccer player, and we only beat them by one goal. That's but it's a, a W. I get that. I get that. But. It was 2-2 with roughly 20 minutes left in the doesn't, game. Doesn't the U.S. typically play to the level of their competition? The, this should be no competition. But I'm saying, no, is. but you know what I'm saying. Like When they play a really good team, they play well. When they play a bad team, they play poorly. You know, isn't that, am, I not, am I not correct You're, on that? I, I agree. It's, in some cases, that's true. But I knew a soccer thing. With, with, the way this, with the way Martinique is and the fact that I bet you none of us in this room know where the heck that place is. Uh, I haven't seen an episode of Martin in forever. I don't know. See? Exactly. That was my yes. guess, too. Yeah. Martin? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing isn't is... That, isn't that when he dressed as a woman in the apartment complex? I oh. think that's a completely was different that, movie. No, no, you're that's, right. No, that's, you're no, right. Martin used to dress as a woman. Uh, uh, Big Shanae Mama's Nae. house. Shanae, yeah, the original Shanae. Yeah. So, wait, he did that in his show, and then he had Big Mama's house as a... Yeah, overall films. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's well, still, so we won't get into that. Okay, that's yeah. a later segment. Yep. You don't want to go down that rabbit hole. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the U.S. three two win over Martinique, very ugly. Um, I and I'll tell you what, considering the fact that they already had a draw against uh, Panama earlier this in the Gold Cup, uh, they're they're not looking very good. And without Christian Pulisic, without a lot of their big name guys that are getting ready for the seasons abroad. It's it's they look in trouble. I don't think they're going to win the gold cup. I think they're they're probably going to lose uh, after the group stage once they advance. Were they um, ever expected to win the gold cup? They were expected to compete. Okay. They they were expected to to so compete. A puncher's chance kind of thing. A little bit more, I would say, okay. considering the the teams that are in this. I mean, Mexico is probably going to win the, the thing. Uh, Mexico. After they they beat Jamaica last night. Uh, Jamaica, oddly enough, Jamaica's got a a pretty good team. But they uh, they were actually in the finals two year uh, two years ago, and uh, nobody saw that coming. Why would you say oddly enough? I I know Jamaica can play, right? They're they're really they're not very good. Typically, they're bad. <laughs> yeah, but they've they got they a had, great bobsled team. They do. <laughs> I'm a little confused. I got to go back here. Okay. Why why were they so bad? Is it the talent not good enough? Is it the manager? Why are they playing the so poorly? Well, first off, we yes. don't have, we don't have the the majority of our guys that will normally play right. uh, in a in a more important game. The Gold Cup is a is a uh, tournament that's not really it's not there yet. It's not the, clearly not the World Cup. It's not the Confederations Cup. It's nothing that the U.S. really goes out there and puts their their main guys out for. So why are you so sad that we're not winning something we didn't really want in the because first place? Because we still we still have talent. <laughs> we still have talent on the on the field. We would have lost to Mexico anyway, though, right? My guess is, yeah, Me- yeah. Mexico Mexico's playing a lot of a lot of guys that um you would probably see play over in England over in the in Europe. This is pitch um, perfect, by the way. We're talking a little soccer with producer Woods right here on one hundred four five. The team, but yeah, yeah, the U.S. men's national team they they looked god awful, and it, it wouldn't surprise me if they once they they get past the group stage, which they have one more game coming up this weekend. If they get past this group stage, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they get bounced right away. <laughs> yeah, because the balls, the soccer ball bounces. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Pun intended. I like it. Yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> Outside of that, not much really going on. A lot of transfers going on in soccer. Uh, guys, what's, what's I have a story for you. I don't mean to interrupt because I think Gaz is-, is so excited. You guys couldn't wow. see it. So Gaz has a soccer story he's been holding on to all day, hoping that producer Woods did not have it. And I don't think he did. <laughs> this upcoming weekend, ESPN is broadcasting the game, which if you're a casual soccer fan like me, 
I would guess that this is a pretty big deal. The All Star Game. I don't know. Is this an All Star Game? Is this what this is? Saturday night in prime time on ESPN, they're having the LA Galaxy play Manchester United in a friendly. We're talking about an MLS yeah. team again. What does this mean? It's, it's this isn't quite the All the All Star Game is coming up soon. Uh, that'll be Real Madrid versus the MLS All Stars. That one is is a fun one. So wait, one watch. club is going to play all the best players from everywhere else. Uh. Well, one club in Europe will play all the best players from the MLS. Okay, so that's how the All Star Game works. <laughs> so we're so bad that we have to get out. We, we, well, we have to cherry pick our best players from every squad just to go up against Real Madrid. Uh yeah. <laughs> you don't, don't say we're gonna we're gonna have some. I think I think it's I think this is gonna be a fun one. Plus, Cristiano Ronaldo is gonna be in the U.S. Um, and later down the road, they will take on Barcelona, uh, down in Orlando. So that'll be a fun one. Barca, Messi versus Ronaldo in the U.S. It's never, never happened before. So that'll be fun. But the game you were mentioning, yeah, it's, uh, Manchester United is coming over for a friendly. They, they got a U.S. tour that they normally do. Um, they, I, I don't believe they did one last year. I think they did one the year before. But yeah, they're going to play the LA Galaxy, who, uh, uh, they're, they're a good team this year. I don't know, quite know if they're, the top level that they're normally used to competing at. Uh, I think there's a few teams that are better than them right now. Toronto may be the best team in my mind uh, when they're fully healthy. But, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one to watch. Uh, friendlies don't really mean nothing. It's just guys getting time in there and uh, getting more exposure for the game. It's a yeah. scrimmage. So this would not be a historic upset because we just laid out there that it takes an entire MLS and a league. Well, it would be an upset. Uh, honestly, it'll probably end up being a, a two- a three one two nothing win for Man United, considering the the talent of players they have on their roster. And my guess is it looks like they may have two of their new acquisitions on the uh, the squad for that game. So, uh, yeah, it'll be an interesting one to watch. I don't think there's going to be a lot of you know a lot of talk about it afterwards, right? Because it, it it's expected to be a blowout in some sense. Yeah, and that's what's kind of throwing me off here. Is and this is why I brought it up because when I hear friendly, that's an exhibition in other terms. It's basically a game that doesn't yeah. count for anything, mm -hmm. or but, it's a great place to get fribbles. Or <laughs> that's also true. But when you have this and you're ESPN and you think, okay, I got an idea. I'm going to put this exhibition game in prime time, and we've seen it the past week where they put summer league basketball in prime time, and people get it who are NBA fans. But if you're trying to make soccer more relatable, I guess I would say, or more on a stage, and you put a friendly on TV, you would want, I would guess, I mean, you can stop me when I'm wrong, the Galaxy to win because then all of a sudden, whoa, LA Galaxy pulled off this huge upset on ESPN. They want the American team to win. Wouldn't a win maybe help? A win would do, a, a win by the LA Galaxy would give the MLS a little bit more credibility. Uh, they struggle with getting guys, uh, top level talent over right now. It looks as though they're about to sign one of the best strikers in England, uh, who actually played for Manchester United last season before getting hurt. It looks like he's about to join the LA Galaxy on a deal that will be roughly six and a half million a year. But this is a big step. If, if, if the LA Galaxy will win this game, they will gain not only credibility around the MLS and around the United States as a, as a more popular league for people to watch on TV, but they'll gain more credibility, which I, I think is more important for the league, across the pond. Players will see this that are playing out there, that are maybe you know on their way out of their end of their career and they still want to play. They will see more attraction fr from the MLS should the LA Galaxy be able to pull this off. I know this next question is going to almost undercut what I just asked. But do the guys from Manchester United care about this game? Probably not. No. Oh, uh, okay. The they're on is, vacation in the states. Yeah, they're. It's, I mean, they're they're on their U.S. tour. They they normally are, are doing this for reps in order to get ready for the season coming up. Uh, it starts, I believe, it's it's about a month away uh, for the start of the uh, Premier League season. So they're they're getting ready. Uh, lots of clubs in in the Premier League are starting already their preseason matches. Uh, so it's this is basically just a, a warm up. For, uh, for the real season coming forward and seeing what the guys have and doing those final roster spots, same way in the NFL and stuff like that, getting and see who's, who's going to make the squad and who's it's not. More, it's more like Major League Baseball, like when the Yankees in spring training will play like some local college yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Valley yeah. Cats and like the Albany Dutchman or somebody, right? Same, huh. same exact type scenario. So it's, uh, am I going to watch it? Probably. It'll be on. But I'm addicted. Time. I'm addicted to football. So, yeah. it's, you know, how many, how many giant pints am I going to have? Uh, who knows? Uh, Producer Woods, Pitch Perfect. Tell us more about this Soccer Unlimited place, huh? Yeah, great place. Go get your, uh, your jerseys. The new, new jerseys are coming out. Um, your boots. 
Boot, yeah, yeah. You got to get your boots. I like the accent. I don't know where it came from. Uh, is it like Scottish? It's Scottish. Well, everything's Scottish. It's not Scottish. It's up. Buy your jerseys from Soccer Unlimited. Yes. Unlike yeah, how don't, we, don't be like Woods. <laughs> Look, we, the mass text is out there. When, did you? Did we have our order go through yet, by the way? I will not confirm nor deny. Oh, no. What are you doing? <laughs> I tried to use one of these sites, by the way. Not a Soccer Unlimited site. Another site. And I'm still no. waiting. I'm trying Soccer to track Unlimited. my... Just, just go to Soccer Unlimited. Yeah, <laughs> really. Tracked my packages in Mercury right now. It's on a planet somewhere. No, you donated... You just don't. I hope not, man. I really like that jersey I was going to get. Probably covered in mer- mercury, if anything. <laughs> I'm not using those sites anymore. Soccer Limited's the place to go. Yes, it is. Very true. Pitch Perfect right there. We do it every every Friday at about 2.45. Producer Woods gets a chance to geek out about his love of soccer. And uh, we all learn a little bit about the game as well. As, um, when is, when is the, the World Cup? Can I, can I celebrate uh, that soon? It's less than a year away. Woo, I believe. Is, we will. Uh, we, we are... <laughs> I think we're 330 days away. No, but who's counting? 330 yeah, exactly. days, two hours, 15 minutes. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So it, it was um, it was made clear this morning the Knicks have officially uh, got themselves a GM. Scott Perry is going to be the guy looking like a second round pick, going to be given to the uh, to the the Kings. In order to get Scott, I saw you got very upset about the, uh, giving up a pick to get him. I got, yeah, I got uh, some God, issues sorry. about this. Do you want to talk about this more next? No, I'm talking about it right now. We got we got time. The page perfect the, went short. What's the deal with this? Why, why do they want to bring in this guy from the Kings? He wasn't running the show with the Kings anyways. It was Vladi Divac. They bring in somebody. <laughs> he was. Okay. Vladi's making the decisions, even though this guy might have thought so he was going to. Do you want the guy who's acing the test or the guy he's copying off of? Because I think we got the guy that Vladi Divac's been copying off of. And he's of. getting a C- minus on the test, by the way. <laughs> like, he's the Sacramento King running the organization over there. If he's the only whole... been there for a little bit, though. Fine. They're not good. Go get someone who's, well, no, who's been good. there, but they hired. I th- I, I thought His new job, he just started. Just started in April. Because he was with Orlando. Him. He's been all over. He was in Detroit back when Melo was drafted. He's been around the league. Right now we sound like we're 0 for 3. We went for the Magic Pistons. And no, Kings. but the Pistons, the Pistons were kind of good. That was, of those three, yes, yeah. you're right. They're better than that. I guess I'm asking for too much. Like, your standard was anybody but Isaiah Thomas, yep. which they succeeded with. And last it's, I checked. It's not Isaiah Thomas. That's a win. My thought is that, okay, you're going to keep Steve Mills around. And credit to Steve Mills. You don't have Mills. a choice. Doesn't seem like you have a choice. But let's remember, although Steve Mills... From a work side of it, may have done everything he can to earn the job. He's put in his time and effort. That's fine. But Steve Mills, has he shown that he can help the Knicks get better? He was there pre-fill when the Knicks were winning. So maybe we give Steve the benefit well, see, of the doubt that's here. Why I like this. That's why I like Scott Perry already. First thing he did, or, appear, or, or as a result of his hire, is slow down the mellow trade. Because it sounds to me like we're not going to get anything as Knicks fans close to the value of Carmelo Anthony right now. So why not come in and go, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me look at everything before, as the general manager of this basketball team, let me look at everything before we pull the trigger on this trade. I right mean, there, I mean, just to not do something knee-jerk and stupid makes me excited as so, an ex fan. I've, I've never bought a house before, but I feel like it's a scenario where... It's a terrible process. Never do it. Well, Perry walks into the house that's being built right now, and he sees, he's going, you know what, I'm going to look around a little bit. Yeah. Okay, burn it no. to the ground. <laughs> like, he's going to look at the house before he burns it, yeah, if don't possibility. Put a, no skylight in the bathroom floor. No, right. that's a bad idea. That's what he's doing right now. He's looking around the house, deciding whether or not he's going to move in, burn it to the oh, ground, well, build in. a new one. He's moving in. Well, you better figure out what he wants in that house right now. I mean, let's be honest. I think the only way you get real value for Carmelo Anthony right now is if you let him play for a little bit and make him look good. Well, Carmelo, it seems as though Carmelo's frustrated because the New York Daily News is coming out now saying Carmelo is uh, is very disgruntled as far as the Knicks putting the trade for the Rockets on hold. All right, hold on. Our reply to a disgruntled Carmelo Anthony next.